everyone, it's Mari. I'm back here today for Honeybee Stamps and I'm going to be creating this 5x7 card that you see on the screen. I'm going to start off by doing some ink blending with the amazing Outdoor Scene Builder stencil set. If you don't have this set, this set yet, it is an absolute must for your stash. It has a bunch of different stencils for creating different kinds of outdoor scene elements. And I'm going to be using the cloud stencil here. I'm going to blend some salvage patina distress oxide ink across my five by seven card front here. And I'm going to, to extend this so that it goes all the way across. You'll just see me uh, twist it, flip it, and I will just keep on blending there with that same area of the stencil that I was using previously. Here you can just see I've turned the stencil and now I'm going to create another cloud pattern right below the other pattern that I did create already. I'm leaving a little bit of white space in between these layers so that you can see that these are some really nice white puffy clouds in a beautiful blue sky. I'm going to be using a bunch of dies today in, for my card and I am going to get to that die cutting part of the process here soon but I really wanted to show you some different ways today that you you could not just use stencils as you can see here but also to use some dies that you might have in your stash to stretch them and use them in different ways. I do love stenciling with these uh, stencils as I mentioned and this is so easy to do to create a really fun puffy cloud effect on a scene card and I'm almost finished here but you can just see I keep flipping that stencil over at the end there of each line to extend those that stencil. I'm going to be using the slimline border dies from Honeybee Stamps and this is also a must-have set. This die set will create grass, uh, wavy hills, or um, any type of, you know, a snowbank, anything like that that you might want, the grass, and also the picket fence. I just love these dies. I think they're so much fun for creating all different kinds of elements. I am not going to be making a slimline. As I said, I'm making a five by seven card, but you could totally use these dies on any size of a card, which is really super fun. When you're starting with the longest sort of measurements, you can always make them smaller, and I really love that. So my idea is to create sort of like this little... Um, sense of grass in the front with a little bit of dirt and then that really sweet picket fence in the background and I'm going to be creating a little garden scene here today for you using like I said a bunch of different dies so I'm going to get these die pieces or a die cut pieces um stuck down to my card front here. I'm using my Honeybee Stamps Precision Tip Glue Tube and I'm going to start off by gluing down my dirt, um, my layer of dirt here. And I've not, um, I haven't adhered it at the top. I'm only adhering it at the bottom because I wanna be able to stick some things in behind that layer of black cardstock there. I'm going to glue the grass layer over top here this is some Gina K Jelly Bean Green cardstock. And then of course, that's just black cardstock behind there. I will get the grass glued on to the area of the dirt and then carry on from there. Now I will just, of course, trim off that excess paper that you see that is too long. And that is going to happen right away here using my guillotine trimmer. So I will just pick that up, flip it over, put it into my trimmer, and I will just use that white edge of the paper there to help guide me where I need to trim that off. I'll get that trimmed off nice and even, and there you have the grass and the little garden that I'm going to be creating. Now this is the apron garden tools add-on. And what this was, the original intent is to create a garden apron with the A2 apron uh, die set as well. And, but I wanted to use all of these little bits from this set to create a little scene as though someone was working in the garden with a little basket of tools. So this piece here that is the original intent was for part of the pocket on the apron. I'm actually going to create a little basket. This basket weave paper is from the Beach Vibes paper pad. Honeybee Stamps has the best six by six paper pads. If you have not checked those out, make sure that you do that in the shop they are amazing I also cut this piece out of some craft cardstock just to layer it together to give it a little bit more strength and I'm going to take some vintage photo distress ink and a distress ink blender and I'm going to blend on a little bit of this brown ink onto my basket to just give it a little bit of depth and interest 
and just make it look maybe perhaps a little bit more 3D. And you'll just see me here going around the edge of this little basket. And I'm also going to blend a little bit of ink onto that patterned paper front as well. Tiny little bit here you can see on the corners. And that just kind of adds a little bit of a shadow. And like I said, makes it seem a little bit more 3D, gives it a little bit more depth. And so I'm just going to finish that up quickly here. I do love uh, inking up the edges of my cardstock and my pattern paper like that. I think it just really adds just a little bit of extra interest. Now that is going to be the position of the basket. The Apron Garden Tools add-on also has these little garden stakes and they're so cute. There's a little die that you can also use to create a little label. And you know how garden stakes, what you can do with them is put the name of the different um, plant that you have uh, planted there. So you can do that on that little black label. That, that apron add-on also has a little glove die as part of it, which is so adorable. So I use this spring lullaby floral paper here to cut out my two little gloves. And the die set also has a little cuff that you can cut to add on to the gloves. And I cut those cuffs from the reverse side of that floral paper, just as a little accent in pink. Now the apron garden tools add on also has a watering can and all of these fun little gardening tools, the clippers and the little spade, a little rake and so on, super, super cute. And so my idea is to stuff my little basket with all of these little tools and also my little garden gloves to make it look like the person who's gardening has um, maybe just completed their task of planting their garden or they're out watering the garden and they've got their little basket of tools to help them out. The apron garden tool add-on also has flowers and stems as well as some little greenery, uh, a little greenery die as well. So you can just see me here putting these together and my idea is to have one of my garden stakes say flowers and the other one to say herbs. So I'm going to cut out a bunch of those dies, the flowers and the greenery from different colored cardstock to create the impression of those different types of plants. Now I'm going to take a white gel pen and I'm going to write on my little garden stakes and that little black label piece. So the one I'm going to write herbs and the other one I'm going to write flowers. You'll just see me doing that here with my white gel pen. I will tell you a little tip when you're working with a white gel pen is to go slow because if you don't, it will skip and you'll be really frustrated. And so if you just write really slowly, it will be nice and smooth and all um, great. <laughs> so here you can just see I'm writing on my second little label here. I'm going to write flowers and those will be finished and I will glue those onto the brown wooden garden stakes that I have die cut out of brown cardstock. So I'm just painstakingly going really really slow like I said with my white gel pen so that I do get a nice clean impression with my printing. I do not have the world's neatest printing, but I just think this looks really fun and whimsical and it just looks cute with those labels on there. Now I am going to use my glue tube again and I'm going to add some glue to my little garden stakes and I will glue these labels onto the stakes so that they're all ready to add as a little bit of detail in this little garden. I love working with dyes like this because they are so much fun to add all of these little details and Honeybee is absolutely famous and amazing, has the most amazing dyes for creating this sort of project. I'm using some Kitsch Flamingo to ink up the edges of my gloves. So I'm just going to finish that up with both of the gloves. And I'm also going to ink up my little watering can with some Distress Oxide ink in black soot. And that's just going to add, again, a little bit of detail. And I'm going to put it on the silver metallic cardstock here that I use to cut out my watering can just to the front of it as well. It will just dull down the shiny effect of that silver cardstock and just kind of make it look uh, a little bit worn and a little bit distressed. Now these are the Bitty Buzzword dies. I love these. They are so great for adding sentiments to your projects. And these are two piece die sets for each word. So each word has the scripty word and then 
uh, each word has a background or outline. So I'm, I have cut these words out twice out of white cardstock. I'm going to layer them up. So I'm going to add some glue on the front of this happy and I will adhere my second word happy onto this one so that it makes it just a little bit more thick and rigid and dimensional on your card. So I'm just going to add that. And this is of course just white cardstock here for the word happy. And I'm just using my tweezers to help me out there. I've got them all put together now. And now I will add some adhesive to the back of the word happy and adhere that onto the black backer. I really like the word in white and that outline in black. It just really makes the words pop on the on the card. And also I do have black on the bottom portion of the card. I just thought it would be nice to add a little bit of black to the top area as well. So the sentiment is going to go up in the clouds above the little garden scene that I've created here. So I'll do exactly the same thing with the word birthday and my sentiment will be ready to go. Now I have put foam adhesive on the back of my card front and I'm going to adhere that to a five by seven card base. So here you can just see I'm adding that onto my card base and now I'm going to add on my sentiment with a little bit of foam adhesive. So you can see I have my watering can in the lower left corner of my little scene. Across from that to balance it off is the basket. And then in between we have the little garden of herbs and flowers growing. I think this would be a really perfect card for someone who really loves to garden. I just thought this would be a great way to use that apron garden tools add-on die set in a different way. So just trying to inspire you to think about ways that you can stretch your dies and use them in ways that they weren't maybe initially intended when the, um, you know, when the die set is sort of released and put out there. Uh, I know that the uh, design team often tries to use the honey cuts in a different and inventive way to show people different things that you can do with your honey cut dies. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun making this card and I did link up to all of the products in the description box below that I have used. If you click those links, they are affiliate links and you can go ahead and shop the Honey Bee Shop. Thank you so much, friends. Have an amazing day and I'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.